good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always, told out of voice of radio. So today, we're going to be taking a look at the theme decks from Cosmic Eclipse. Ladies and gentlemen, it has taken a while to actually get to the stage where we have these. We've been waiting longer than usual. Now, I do need to give a quick shout out today to at dog one rocky over on twitter who did send me the kyoga theme deck list earlier today now i didn't deal with it purely because i hadn't seen any proof and i didn't want to go uploading it until i knew for absolute certain the good news is the lovely david hockman one of our very favorites incidentally is over at spielessen the big tabletop gaming convention in germany right now and has confirmed that not only is this correct, but he's also gone and sent us a picture of the back of the Groudon theme deck. So that means that we can get rolling and talk about the theme decks. Yay! Cool. So we'll start off with the Kyogre theme deck then. It is based around Kyogre. We've known this for a little while at this stage. And the Kyogre is kind of cool. It allows you to attach two water energy from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon for one colorless energy. And it can do decent damage. It's not great, it's not phenomenal, it's not over the top. But it's a nice little theme deck Pokemon. And the kind we want to maybe base a deck around, for argument's sake. Now, of course, we do need a whole bunch of other Pokemon in the list. And we actually have a free, free two line of Empoleon. Now, the new Empoleon from the set is amazing. Because for one colorless energy, it can choose an attack from any of its previous evolutions and use it as this attack. We've then got Piplup, who does 80 damage, but if the defending Pokemon is a basic, it can't attack during your opponent's next turn. And Prinplup, that discards all energy from this Pokemon and does 100 to one of your opponent's bench. That's really nice for sniping around and taking out some bench Pokemon. So yeah, this is kind of cool. The Empoleon on its own is very meh. But when you combine it with the others and the attacks that it can copy, yeah, we're all in favor of this. This seems pretty gosh darn nice. Now, we've also got a free to Golduck line. And this is, of course, they're all the ones from Cosmic Eclipse, we have been told. And the Golduck is fine. One water, one colorless energy, 80 damage. And you return an energy from this Pokemon to your hand. That means that if Golduck goes and gets KO'd, you've still got one energy in your hand. You're losing one energy rather than two. That's not too bad. And then we've got Ambipom. Now, Ambipom's kind of cool. It's, it's not amazing, but it's kind of cool. For one colorless energy, you draw two cards. It's nice for getting set up in the early game, but it is a stage one. For two colorless energy, you discard up to two cards from your hand, doing 60 damage for each card discarded. Now 120 for two energy, and you've got to discard two cards from your hand is fine. But in the context of a pre-release or theme deck, it's really, really nice. Now, there are a couple of Puki Muku here, and what is interesting about this is it is, I believe at least, the only card from the set, or from the deck, that is not from Cosmic Eclipse. It is a one from Unified Minds. Draw a card for a single energy. Again, it, it's fine for getting you set up in the early game. It's not amazing. It is fine. Now, we also have one of the new Fione, and I love the new Fione. What it allows you to do is, if it's on the bench, you can put it on the bottom of your deck, and then your opponent has to switch their active Pokemon. Quick side note, I am using the pre-release artwork on the screen, because it's the only English scan we have at the moment. It stops you decking out, while also making your opponent switch their active Pokemon. It's really, really nice. I could see this seeing a bit of play. Now, if we have a little bit of a look at the energy, we've actually got a couple of draw energy here. Special energy. When you attach it, you draw a card. They're not phenomenal, but it's nice to see us getting some of these when we actually open theme decks. And once again, they are really going for it in terms of trainer cards. To Cynthia, it's the best 
supporter card in the format. And the great news is, Symphia has now been printed in so many theme decks, pre-release kits, etc. that the price of it's just not going to get that high, even though it's amazing. We got to Lily, which is the other best draw card in the format. And a couple of How, which is not the best draw card in the format, but it's quite good for newer players. Pokemon Communication is a wonderful item card to help you swap a Pokemon you don't want for a Pokemon that you do. And Pokemon Fan Club is a decent little early game supporter for searching out your basic Pokemon. Make no mistake, this does see play and will continue to see play as we go along. You've also got a couple copies of Roller Skater here. Roller Skater is fine. It's not particularly amazing. What it basically allowed you to do is discard a card from your hand and draw two. But if you choose to discard an energy, you draw four instead. It's fine, but it's um, it, it's not amazing. It'll see a little bit of play. Couple Tate and Liza is another really good draw support that sees quite a lot of play, but can also function as a switch. And we do have a couple copies of Switch here, if you're in the mood for switching your active. We then see one copy of Viridian Forest, which is one of the very best stadium cards in the game. Discard a card from your hand and search for a basic energy. In a theme deck that's already playing 18 basic energy, there's an argument we don't necessarily need it, but it's still kind of cool. Now... It's not quite got the headline-grabbing cards that some previous theme decks have had, but a lovely David Hockman has been playing them all day in Spiel, and in his words, he's played 20 times with each of the decks, and they are a lot of fun, much better than the last two sets. So that's kind of cool. Moving on to the ground on, the good news is we do have a picture of the back of the theme deck. The bad news is it's all in German, because Spiel is in Germany. The good news is, lovely Primal Lugia and David Hockman have helped us out here. Now, starting off with the Groudon here, it's very similar to Kyogre. Except the first attack attaches to fighting energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Really helps with these annoying high energy fighting attacks. I mean, look, Kyogre and Groudon come as a pair, so it makes sense they'd be fairly similar. And then we actually get a free free 2 line of Garchomp which I'm assuming can only be the Garchomp that came around in Unified Minds. Now, it's not actually proven to be particularly good because we don't have any good Pokemon search at the moment, but as soon as we get some decent Pokemon search, keep an eye out. This is going to be awesome. It does 80 damage base for 2 energy, but if you discard an energy, you do 120, and if you're behind on prizes, you do 200. Outside of the theme deck, if you're behind on prizes, you might as well pair it with Martial Arts Dojo to do an extra 40. And Karate Belt to use it for a single energy. Then use Diancy Prism Star to do an extra 20. And Miss Magius so you can guarantee you're behind on prizes. And you've got the makings of a really, really fun deck. It's one of my favourite cards that's been released in the past few sets. Albeit, we don't have the best Pokemon search for it at the moment. Now, we've also got a free, free two line of Seismitoad, which is interesting because, of course, that means that we've got two stage two lines in this deck. Now, that's actually quite a lot, but I love the new Seismitoad. Now, again, it's a stage two, so it all must be taken in context, but it's got an ability once during your turn before you attack, search your deck for any card. And put it on top of your deck. It is literally Makago's ability, but as a stage two rather than as a stage one. But a free free two line is going to give your theme deck that little bit of extra consistency. As for the attack, 80 damage, and then 30 more for each of your bench Pokemon that have any damage counters on. So if you've got a bunch of damage bench Pokemon. This can actually be a really powerful attack that does really good damage, albeit a very, very expensive attack. You have been warned. Outside of that, we really do need some cheaper Pokemon, and we can start off with a couple copies of Persimian, a Pokemon that has been very, very good in the past. This Persimian, I really like the first attack, 20 damage, draw two cards. 
That's kind of cool. We also see a couple copies of Fro here that attacks for a fighting and a colorless energy, and it does 30 damage, but 120 if any of your bench Pokemon have any damage counters on. Bearing in mind, Seismitoad also needs your bench Pokemon to have damage counters on, so this all adds up quite nicely indeed. Get some damage on your bench, then go a little bit nuts. There is then a single copy of Mew, we like Mew very much indeed, presumably it's a one from Unbroken Bonds, which protects your bench. Which is weird in a deck where you really want your bench to have damage on, but then again, you still want to protect your bench when you've got enough damage on there. Love me some Mew. It's a really good Pokemon. See, he's a huge amount of play. We've had it as a promo before, but it's still quite nice. Now, in terms of... The supporter line here, we've still got two Cynthia, we've still got two Lily, we've still got two Howl. But we're adding in here two copies of Bugcatcher. Now, Bugcatcher's a slightly weird one here. What it allows you to do is draw two cards initially, then flip a coin. And if you flip heads, you get to draw two extra cards. It's fun, but it is, shall we say, just a little bit... A little bit unreliable. It's not one of these you can always necessarily rely on having, but it's still very, very fun. When it works, it's drawing four, and drawing four is great. We've then got one copy of Lady to get a bunch of energy in your hand. Remember that Groudon wants to have a whole bunch of energy to attach, so Lady works very nicely with that. And then we've again got two copies of Pokemon Communication, two copies of Pokemon Fan Club, two copies of Switch, Two copies of Tate and Liza, and two copies of Draw Energy. These are not necessarily the kind of decks which are full of cards which you're going to be putting in your main meta decks, although I really like the Garchomp line, but they are very, very fun to play against each other. They're very good in a theme deck format, and the fact of the matter is they are still bursting with staple trainer cards like Cynthia, like lily like pokemon communication so for newer players they're phenomenal in that aspect huge shout out to the lovely david hockman for making sure we got the deck list david you rock so now ladies and gentlemen i'd like to know what you think about these do you think these are good decks do you think they're underwhelming let me know in the comment section go nuts be nice and then make sure you like this video subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter at the wassy and twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that and please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassy plays where we talk about a whole bunch of games that don't even have any pokemon in but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would you thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.